Some new developments in the murder of Long Island native Gabby Petito today. Police say that she was killed during a cross country road trip with her fiance. The manhunt for Brian Laundry centering now on a 24,000 acre wilderness park near his home in Florida. Dive teams have joined the search to comb through swamps teeming with alligators and snakes. Meantime, Gabby's family waits for justice. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has more now from Blue Point, Suffolk County. At the gateway to a grieving community, a sign of support. With Gabby Petito's death ruled a homicide, neighbors are seeking answers. We don't have all the information that the detectives have, but we are all with our mouths open. Like, how could this even happen? Everybody's sad. It's a, a, kind of like a shattered community. The anger that, that is, is out there, I'm sure, is great, but they're, they're really showing sorrow right now more than anything. Hundreds of ribbons, blanket, blue point, and beyond organized by the Johnny Mac Foundation in memory of a local 9-11 first responder, his widow, a close family friend. We will never forget her and we will always be here for the family. I don't understand how you're engaged to somebody and you go quiet. The question being asked around the nation. As search teams continue to comb a Florida preserve for missing fiance Brian Laundrie, they return to the vast swamps of the Carlton Reserve today with underwater dive teams. We are trying to cover every acre in this preserve. With Petito dead and laundry missing, the case is sparking conversations about domestic violence. Witnesses reported seeing laundry hit her. In this newly released statement, a witness told police, quote, they were talking aggressively at each other and something seemed off. I heard her say, why do you have to be so mean? If you're the parent of a boy or a teenager, now's the time to start having a conversation about what healthy relationships look like and how you treat a partner in a relationship. The break in the case came with the help of public tips, including this video of the van on a desolate road in Grand Teton Park, near where her remains were later found. The family that shot this dash cam video lost a child themselves. I'm really happy that we were able to support, the, you know, be able to get this for the family and be able to help out with law enforcement if that's the case. My wife has been in contact with the parents and they've done quite a bit of talking. Emotions captured in this post by Gabby's brother. Gonna miss you till the end. Hashtag justice for Gabby. This sign now a spot where many are stopping with prayers and tears and then on Friday night candles will be lit in private driveways in Gabby's memory. In Blue Point, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.